Hello everyone, FSG here, hope you're all doing well. Yes, Dints has done it again, hot off the back of the X9 that we did a little bit of a preview of the other week. He has sent me his 9R 2015 and oh man, this is so good. So without further ado, let's have a little bit of a look at it. There it is in all its glory. We have got the US version here with the triples on. Um, and you can see the tow chain on there as well. There's so many little details and bits and pieces on this. It just really is. Oh, look at the pipe work and the detail in there. Fantastic. Around the back here, we've got the uh, three-point hitch on. All the hydraulics and everything really beautifully modelled. It is a fantastic bit of kit. So before we go too much further, we'll just jump in the store and we'll have a little bit of a look at what you get in terms of options and Make yourself comfortable there's a few right there's your baseline 9r tractor 407 horsepower it's got a power shift gearbox carrying 1514 liters of fuel and 83 liters of government juice runs at 24 miles an hour and it's 20.6 tons and that's coming in at 346,000 pounds euros or dollars depending on what you are playing in and you can again just get to marvel at what a lovely model this is but without going too much into detail let's go and have a look at all of the extras you get with it so first up we've got engine sizes so we've got the 9370 uh, so the smallest and then we go up to the 420 the 470 the 520 the 570 and then the biggie the 620r 104,000 extra, but it brings you a massive 670 horsepower. Now, wheels, um, you've got a lot of the same options across the different sets of wheels. There are a couple of anomalies, which I'll show you, uh, but in principle, uh, they are all the same. So I'll go through the Trelleborg options, um, and they are the same with most of the sets. So starting out, you have your narrow twin wheels, and you start to see a bit of a pattern with these. Um, then you have your narrow twin wheels with weights. Now the weights are on the inside first, and then secondly, they are on the outside. Then you have your triple wheels, and the same applies. Weights on the inside, weights on the outside. Then you have your standard wheels with weights, twin wheels, weights on the inside, weights on the outside. You have your standard uh, set two, slightly bigger wheel, with wheel weights. Then you have your twins, weights on the inside, Weights on the outside, and then you have your wide tires with weights on the tires, and then you have your doubles, weights inside, weights outside, then you have your wide tires too, with your weights on the rim there, and then you go back to your narrow twin wheels. Now, like I said, generally you have the same options across all of the different tire types, so there aren't many uh variations however there is one which is worth having a look at so your alternative tire options are on the mitus and they are your wide tire option three look at the size of those they are big floaty tires looking really good and you get those with or without weights and then you're back to your narrow twins again so what we'll do let's go back to Bellaborg and let's go to trips We'll try and max this out the most that we can. Uh, front mounting, you've got your options there. You've got your uh, uh, weight bar. Then you have 300, 800, 1300, or 1800 kilogram front weights. Then you have your rock box. Your rock box with rocks in it, which I do like. It's a nice little touch that. And then you have your blade mount here. So I believe this takes the canine dozer blade as well. Now beacons, you've got a left right or both starfire so many options for this so let's kind of just adjust our angle slightly uh you have just the holder then you have the 3000 unit the 3000 unit and the gs2630 which is in the cab there um you then have the option of the 6000 with the 2630 screen or the 4640 screen then you have the 6000 with the rtk on it then the RTK and the 2630 screen or the 4640 screen. Then the 7000 unit 
with the GS4640, the 7000 unit with the G5, the 7000 unit with the RTK, then the RTK and the GS460, then the 7000 with the RTK and the G5, or nothing at all. So a myriad of options there, which is very, very cool. Um, halogens or LEDs for your lights. We're going to go for LEDs, of course. Then mirrors, again, so many options here. So you've got standard with a rear view mirror old, standard with rear view mirror new, electric with a rear view old, electric rear view new, ultimate with rear view mirror old and rear view mirror, mirror new, ultimate electrics with rear view mirror old, ultimate electric rear view mirror new, and then back to your standards. We're going to go obviously with ultimate electrics. Why would you not? Side panels, uh, you've either got your standards or you have the new version, which just covers up a little bit more of the engine. You can see that there, detail or panels. Uh, exhaust and tow rope, let me just spin around here so we can see this. You've got your short exhaust with the tow rope, which is that towing chain there. You have your long exhaust with the tow rope. You have your rain cap, rain cap with tow rope. And back to short, of course, we're going to go for long and tow rope carpet and decals uh window decal is the john deere across the back or you can have your nice plush carpet inside or you can have both of course we're going to have both and then if i can get my angles right we've got the gen 4 monitor the smaller 4100 then we go to the 4200 or the 4600 of course we're going to go for the 4600 Attachers, there are so many of these as well. Uh, you've got your standard trailer attacher. You've got your trailer attacher, but with a PTO as well. You've got uh, weights on the back of your trailer attacher there, and the PTO has gone again. But then trailer option four brings that back. And then you've got your three-point, but with no PTO, and your three-point with a PTO. And then you're back to your original trailer. So, of course, we're going to go for the big one here. Warning signs, you've got a few options here. You've got your US and your oversize, um, which you can't see the oversize until you put the rock box on. So um, let's just go back up here so we can see that. Um, there we go. You can see the oversize there. But what we're going to do, we're going to go for the 1800 front weights. There we go. You get your oversize sign on there as well. Um, let's go back down here. Uh, no signage at all. Then you've got your rear tanks just here, 2015, 16 versions, the slightly boxier metal ones. Or you then go up to the 17 to 21 version, which has got those kind of plastic fuel tanks on there as well. I have a big preference for the older version, to be honest. And then a lovely little touch, but very important. A steering knob on the wheel. I like that. Seats. You've got your standards or your leathers and windows you have got standard or the tinted version and that is your lot so much going on on there it's brilliant i absolutely love it anyway let's have a little bit of a poke around it now and see what it's like in action right we had a little look at the outside before let's jump in the cab um again as we've seen before with dinsis mods he does have interactive control added, so let's jump in the cab. Right, this is where the magic happens. Let's just hit backslash there to shut the door. It is set up for the passenger mod as well, if you want to and like to use that. You've got your indicators here. You have got your lights. And bring the steering wheel closer or further away from you like so more lights here you've got your start up there you've got your cruise control you've got your beacons there your emergency flashes rear lights and other rear lights there if you had a, an implement attached it would bring up a few more options as well so we will do that in a little while um, and of course the ignition. There we go. All fired up. 
Now, it does have, as well, Dashboard Live. So, if I can get my uh, commands right here, we should be able to zoom in and have a look at these. There we go. So you can see all of the features if I accelerate and move around. The more things that we have connected, the more options you have. You can rise and lower things if you've got uh, things attached. Um, but you can also look up here. So that was using the shift button and spacebar. That's the default keys. And then you can come back out of that should you need to. Um, it's just a fantastic bit of kit. He's done such a good job, I've got to say. Um, I know FS25 is just a few months away now, but um, he's not slowing down. I can see him having this converted and ready pretty quickly. Um, just that, that attention to detail when you open up the window, the engine gets a little bit noisier. Things like that. We've got the radio, we've got interior lights there. Um, just so much going on. It is fantastic. It is fantastic. Right. Um... There you go, the 9R from Dents Modding. Just utterly, utterly brilliant. Go and check out his other mods in the Mod Hub because they are all outstanding quality. The X9 is coming down the tracks. It just needs to get that approval from Giants. Uh, this has already been submitted to Giants 2, so it won't be too long, fingers crossed, before it comes out. I know Giants are heavily focused on testing for FS25, but they are working their way through the FS22 mods as quickly as they can as well. So grab it when it comes out because it's awesome right enjoy the montage